Monument Valley has the most distinctive landscape in the American West, and it provided the venue for a recent leg of the Red Bull Air Race. Because it is 1,900 metres above sea level, conditions here are very different to other courses, which are above water and in thicker air. Pilots fly against the clock on a tight 2,000 metre course that enables good views for spectators. Competitors must fly at a specified altitude between nine sets of inflated pylon gates that stand only 20 meters tall. Distance between the twin rubber cones that comprise each gate varies from 10 to 15 meters, depending on the difficulty of the entry and exit maneuvers required. The tight turns wash off speed, so pilots will climb to higher altitudes to regain speed during a dive back into the course. Pilots are also required to execute specific maneuvers during the flight, usually a variety of rolls followed immediately by a touch and go landing on a specified section of adjacent runway. British pilot Steve Jones in his Zivco Edge 540 was doing well till he was briefly distracted by a problem with propeller control. In the quarterfinals, he crashed heavily into an air gate just a few meters above the ground. Time penalties of two, five, or 10 seconds are assessed for flying too high through the pylons, any incomplete or missed maneuver, or missing or touching a pylon. He was forced to retire and was lucky to escape injury with his aircraft sustaining minor damage to its wheel span. Each air gate is color coded to indicate whether pilots must pass through with wings level, in near knife edge position, or in slalom attitude. In addition to the high base altitude, the high air temperatures raise the density altitude to near 3,000 meters. This places a drain on engine performance. Peter Bessonnier's motto is, don't make any mistakes. Like Jones, Bessonnier was flying a Zivco H540. It's an advanced, unlimited class aerobatic aircraft and has the highest thrust to weight ratio of any competition aerobatic plane. The fuselage is designed to take over 15 Gs of sustained loading. Bessignay beat Britain's Paul Bonham with an advantage of less than a second. Next leg of the Red Bull Air Series was in the ancient city of Istanbul. Over one million spectators crowded the shores of the Golden Horn to watch. The competition was back at sea level and aircraft performance was more forgiving. The stop in Istanbul was the first of the season in Europe. Mike Mangold was performing well at speeds of 400 kilometers per hour and dealing with forces of up to 10 G. The Istanbul course has new features that present an extra challenge for the pilots. Two new slalom gates have been introduced and set up as single pylons along the narrow racetrack which have to be navigated as in a slalom race. Pilots can decide whether they fly wide or narrow through these gates. Making tight turns is much more difficult, requiring great skill, but will result in a shorter course and potentially a faster time. American Mike Mangold dominated the elimination rounds, eventually going on to pick up his first win of the series after completing a superb run through the spectacular air gate course. He edged out competition leader Paul Bonham by less than two seconds. Earlier in a thrilling quarterfinal showdown, the winner of the Monument Valley race, Hungarian Peter Bessonnier, was beaten by Alexander McLean with a margin of just four hundredths of a second.